waving, coming. I'm coming. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm coming. <gasps> and I'm here. I'm baby Jesus. I'm here. <clears throat> Welcome this Sunday to the season of Advent, right? The season of Advent where we're giving four weeks where we prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus. But what is so amazing, and right, I'm sure we're all like, yes, Advent, right? Maybe we have those Advent calendars where we open up each day a little, and there's a little piece of chocolate or something inside, and we're, we're counting down to Christmas. And so sometimes we might think, it's only this more days till I get to open my presents. I will tell you that the greatest present that has ever been given was the presents of God himself becoming man, living in our world, right? So that Mary and Joseph could hold Jesus in their arms. <clears throat> but not only that, so that we could hold Jesus in our hearts, right? And have Jesus alive within us. So the thing that is so neat about the season of Advent, we're waiting for the coming of Christ, but we actually wait for him in three ways. The past, the present, and the future. How is it that we wait for Jesus' coming in the past, right? We know that Jesus came 2,023 years ago as a little baby, right, when he was born in Bethlehem. So we're going to celebrate that on Christmas. But <clears throat> for the next four weeks, we're going to be preparing our hearts and preparing for maybe even, I think it can be helpful to put ourselves in that expectation of that waiting, that longing. We can't wait for that present under the tree to get to open it. Well, people for centuries had been waiting for the coming of the Messiah, for the coming of the one that was going to make such a difference in their lives, for God to make this huge difference in their lives that changed everything, right? And, and saved them from all their problems, right? When Jesus came, he truly does save us from our problems. Maybe he doesn't always take those problems away, but he promises to be with us in it. So Jesus came 2,023 years ago and that, I think, is what we think about a lot during Advent, that we're, we're preparing to celebrate the fact that Jesus already came. But did you know that at every single Mass, at every Mass, when the priest takes that piece of bread in his hands and says, this is my body, which is given up for you, we've been covering this, right, over the last month, and then lifts that host up. When that priest lifts it up, guess what it is that actually happens, right? The priest lifts it up, and who is there? Jesus! Not a little statue of Jesus, right? But Jesus actually comes to us. Jesus comes to us at every Mass. When we genuflect and go into our pews and when we're praying, we should feel this longing and this expectation that we are waiting for Jesus to come so that we can truly receive Jesus. For all of you who haven't made your first communion yet, right? I would say especially for those of you who are in second grade about to make your first communion, <clears throat> this Advent season should be really special for you in focusing on the fact that we're waiting for this amazing thing that is going to come, right? So we covered Jesus coming in the past as a little baby and how Jesus comes to us now in the Eucharist to be with us, to actually dwell inside of us. And then finally, the third thing we prepare for is Jesus in the future because we know that there's going to be a day that's going to come and it's going to be amazing where God is going to come where we will actually see him face to face and he is going to say, I am here, right? I am here to bring you to heaven. We don't know if this is going to happen in our lifetimes. <clears throat> people 2,000 years ago thought, oh, maybe it'll be today. And then people 1,500 years ago thought, oh, maybe this will be today. Same thing 1,000 years ago, 500 years ago, people 30 years ago, right? Jesus could come at any time and so it's important that we're ready. It's important that we look at our lives and we say, hmm, are there any things that I'm not doing doing right, where I know I'm not doing the right things, where a lot of times I talk back to my parents, a lot of times I make fun of my brother or my sister, or I hit them, or I tease them, right? And the important thing to be able to, to look at that and say, yeah, that's something that I need to work on. Sometimes though, we can say, either the kids or even parents, right, adults, we can do this too, where we're like, yeah, I know I need to work on this, but I'm really busy with these things right now, so maybe I'll work on those things later. What if Jesus comes today, right? We want to have our hearts prepared. So in Advent, we also prepare for the future coming of Christ by saying we need to do what we can to become who it is that he's calling us to be. So I want you to have a great, Lent, or a great Advent. Baby Jesus wants for you to have a great Advent. 
And so let's just do what we can to, with our families, focus on preparing our hearts for whatever coming of Jesus is that we're focusing on in the past or present or the future, for all those things. Let us prepare our hearts to truly receive him the best that we can. God bless you.